in when they talk about a capital gains tax, which would not actually apply to them. I think it's appalling. Thank you. Jamie Strange. Mr Speaker, the, the uh, Bible tells us that when Jesus was crucified, the veil was torn from top to bottom, and people got to look into the tabernacle. Mr Speaker, today, the veil was torn from the National Party, and we got to see what was behind the veil. Mr Speaker, what did we see? We saw an opposition in disarray, Mr Speaker. We saw an opposition because they didn't like the answers they were given. We saw an opposition take industrial action, Mr Speaker. We saw the National Party showing their true colours. A party for the unions, Mr Speaker. A party for the unions. We saw what just sits below that veneer, that they want to be united. They sort of drifted out one by one. It was a bit of a messy sort of movement, but, but Mr Speaker, we saw, um, we, we saw behind the veil. Mr Speaker, I, I fully support the right of the National Party MPs to take industrial action, and I expect they will now support the Employment Relations Bill, Order. which is up Order. next on... Yeah, that's up next, and the member's not going to refer to it again. Apologies, Mr Speaker. I'd just like to help the National Party just a little bit with a couple of slogans that, that, that they could maybe work on you know, for, their, for their new union-based party. But first of all, who's going to be the boss of this party? Mr Speaker, I had a look around and I thought, who is the hardcore union boss? And Mr Speaker, I looked at Mark Mitchell. That steely look in his eye, the firm hand, Mark, I th Mr Mitchell, I believe you're the man, maybe with your sidekick, Erica Stanford. But Mr Speaker... Let's look on to what the government's been doing this year. What a year we've had, Mr Speaker. And in contrast to the opposition party who are floundering around, we have a government who are organised, we have a coalition government who have a clear plan, and we're getting on with the job of governing. Mr Speaker, I'd just like to highlight a couple of key points here. The first one is housing. Mr Speaker, at the election in 2017, we heard loud and clear from the New Zealand public that people wanted action on housing. The previous regime were floundering around the edges, not taking action. And Mr Speaker, this government in the first year have already taken action on housing. Our Minister, uh, our Minister the Honourable Phil Twyford, has done a number of things. Now, the first one is he's starting to address home ownership. There is a huge issue in this country about people being able to afford their first homes. In the city of Hamilton, Mr Speaker, where I'm based, 42% of Hamiltonians are renting. And the vast majority of them would like to own their own home, but it's getting out of reach. Mr Speaker, I am proud that this government have started a scheme called Kiwi Bill. We're underway, Mr Mitchell. We are underway. And the targets, we're on target to reach them, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, another area is rental fairness. Now, Mr Speaker... I've been a landlord, but my wife and I have had a number of rentals over time, and we understand the importance of the relationship between the landlord and the tenant. Mr Speaker, it's important that we have fairness in the rental market. There is a power imbalance, and we're working hard around that. Mr Speaker, healthy homes is another area we're working on. It's important that homes are warm and dry, particularly for children, that they be healthy. Mr Speaker, the second one I'd like to touch on is the Provincial Growth Fund, Mr Speaker. I'd like to acknowledge the Honourable Shane Jones for the wonderful work that he is doing in this area. The champion of the regions. And I know the opposition are absolutely obsessed with Minister Jones. They're excited about the work that he's doing. Mr Speaker, in my region... I can't hear what the members are. You're talking at once, members. Mr Speaker... The discussions that are taking place within the regions, there's a, nut, there's a lot of excitement around the Provincial Growth Fund. Business cases are being formed. Feasibility studies are being done, Mr Speaker. Because for the first time in a long time, the regions are being listened to. The regions have a voice, Mr Speaker. And Mr Speaker, I'll finish on the economy. Mr Speaker, the economy is in good heart. GDP growth, 3% per year forecast. We're running a surplus. Mr Speaker, the opposition have short memories. The previous, the previous Labour-led government ran nine years of surpluses. And Mr Speaker, this coalition government 
are running surpluses, and I expect that they will continue, Mr. Speaker. We're putting money aside for a rainy day. Mr. Speaker, I'm proud of what this coalition government has achieved. Andrew, Andrew Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, wasn't that offensive?